Today's one of those uh, good days. You know, like how sometimes you like you get you get out there and it's just shitty. Like one bad thing happens after another. Today's been good. Uh, people are pleasant to me. Uh, good experiences. I was talking to a dude in line about uh, in line at the store about my um, my hair. He has the same thing, kind of. But uh, he's like, dude, you have to commit. You have to do the back too, because otherwise you just have like a mullet. Because I don't have any on the sides. From the front, it looks like a mohawk, especially when I I uh, spray it up and shit. But on the back, it's just it's just long hair. The end, it's a mullet. It's like that that Joe Elliott kind of glam mullet that he had in the '80s. I I do have to commit there. I have to have. Uh, I'll have the wife do it. But yeah, it's just, uh, I just finished editing a video from uh, a schizo patrol last night. And uh, holy shit, man. <laughs> holy shit. Like, I often wonder, like, if anyone uh, that IRL knew me ever before uh, was to stumble upon the channel. And especially a video like that one, it's probably up now. Um, if we, I, I mean, if you're seeing this, then it, it's up. But um, I, the people I know IRL uh, are people I've met through the channel uh, who live in the neighborhood and just found me through there, you know, or uh, or people that know I do it, know I do it, knew I do it, know that I do one. Um, but as far as like past life stuff like family members or, or, or band members or friends I used to know from 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 different uh, places I worked or anything like that like they, they don't they don't know I do this I don't think and I can only imagine like if they came across uh, something like that one from last night it's pretty fucking trippy to think about they would they would be like Wow, he's fucking just completely lost his mind. Maybe. Unless some of them are, are kind of experiencing the same kind of thing. Uh, because it, it's getting more common to have these kind of things happen to people. Uh, whether or not they want to fucking put it on YouTube, that's another whole story. But I feel like it's something I can do. It's a way to contribute. Um... Because it's good, like, when I run into people uh, that, that do this stuff. It's a good way to exchange uh, information and, you know, hopefully learn something, like, new. Or find, like, uh, an answer for some stuff. It is becoming more common, though. Um, like, like, ten years ago or even five years ago. It would seem super fucking schizo instead of just regular schizo like it is now. But uh, the problem I have, and, and I see other guys go through this too. I can see it when I'm when I'm watching them, like in real time. I see the, the wheels turning. Is the uh, is the problem with going in 17 different directions? You know, because sometimes you'll mention something and it opens up another door and then that door opens up two more. And I, I feel like I have to touch on everything. You know, I, I can't just leave something hanging, like, you know. And all those people are made of candy. It's like, all right, well, you got to have to talk about how they're made of candy a little bit, you know. And that's not something that's like... Uh, outside the realm of possibility either. I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. Nothing surprising, that's the whole thing. Like, when I think about some of the stuff that I'm experiencing or learning or walking into, in some cases, I think, shit, man, why isn't this blowing my mind? Um, and, and, you know, I've talked about this before, so settled science, but it's, uh, it's a cumulative effect. You know, it happens, it's a, it's a, um, it's a process. 
So when you're uh, when you're talking with angels, it's like, oh, this is just another weird thing, you know. Um, if it on its own, isolated on its own, like something like that happening in like uh, uh, 2005, yeah, that'd be nuts, right? You'd have a hard time processing that. But um, I, I've already processed a lot of weird shit. I got thrown into it at a good, at a pretty deep part of the pool, though. Uh, the demon thing. It was the first exposure I had to um, understanding really what was going on with the divinity, the divinity situation. So, um, and I walked into that, like, like that just kind of happened. And it took a while to figure out exactly what it was. And the good thing too is uh, I was experiencing it with a friend of mine as this was happening. So it was like we could compare notes and be like, oh, what the fuck was that? Or, you know, why did this happen? And then um, in, in that way, uh, it made it a lot easier. Because if I, if I was by myself, you know, during some of the earlier significant events that happened to, to, to clue me in and to push me in this direction, I might be able to blow it off, like, oh, that didn't, you know, that didn't happen, you know, or that was my imagination. But when you're with someone else and, you know, they can corroborate things with you in real time, it makes it trickier. But also, you know, this is a different time we're in now. This is in a, a time of the revealing, uh, the apocalypse. Apocalypse just means revealing. That's all, that's all it means. It means the revealing. Like, um, it's always depicted in, uh, in bad men movies, in Hollywood movies, as this horrifying event and the world's coming apart and uh, everything's going to shit. Because that's what it is for them. The apocalypse for them is a bad thing because it's revealing them to us. It's revealing their system to us. It, it, it's revealing... Uh, it's, it's letting us know we're seeing uh, what they know and what they've sort of kept in, in secret for, for all these years, you know. Uh, so to them, it's horrifying. It's the end of their way of life, basically. And you see that, you know, um, especially when you're talking about movies and stuff and celebrities. Like uh, People turned on them pretty quick. Like we just don't hold those people in any kind of reverence you know, like even in myself like oh yeah I like this actor I see it yeah yeah the um you know I had my favorites or, or guys I'd be into or would think they were cool but um those people are just pathetic man now they're, they're just slaves they're they're they're, they're on, the on some of the lowest rungs of that hierarchy and they're just like contaminated with evil. They their soul is gone. Like they've already, you know, they've already made that deal, you know, in some way, shape, or form. It's in the same in the same way. It's really hard for me to enjoy anything like that. I'm still hanging on to music. Like I, I you know, I see all the shit. Of course, I see it's all in there in everything. You know, I was going, I was testing a bit over some, some Beatles lyrics yesterday. It's in everything. Like, you know, the Beatles especially, that was all written by a guy from the Tavistock Institute, Arno. Arno, um, what the fuck's his name? I don't know. Arno something. Yeah, this is all... <sighs> Nothing is real. Nothing's real. It's all right, though. Like, it's not like everything in your world is fake. I mean, the, the relationships you have with people, uh, the love you have for your family, uh, the stuff in your immediate transom is definitely real, you know? It's when you look on the screen, you know, any kind of screen, you know? And I don't even mean just, like, TV or the Internet or something or... I mean, you know, magazines or books. It's when you're out here, too, in the world. Uh, this also is the screen, you know? Um, 
And like I was mentioning yesterday, or, or whenever you that other video comes out, you have your own personal screen too. The personal screen um, are the bail, uh, the bail, bail bro, scale bro. It's the scales, the scales on the eyes, on your eyes, as uh, as it says in the Bible. That's your personal screen. Um, the larger screen, this thing out here, the thing that's on the on the TV screens. Uh, I think that is what powers your personal ones too, or it's definitely connected. It, it, it might not power it, but they're the same technology, it's the same tech being used, the same magic that's being used there. Um, you have control over your own, a lot more control. But uh, especially the more you see now, you know, you, you go to bed, you go to sleep, you drift out of your body, you know, you're connected by that little string there that goes into your gut because that's where the largest part of you um, resides. That's why they're always drawing out of that, you know, the Podesta, uh, Zeppelin, Dahmer thing. Um, that's where it is. And, and that's what you're connected by. It's like a, a, a ethereal kind of string. And when you're out of the body, that's when uh, you get your scales refitted. They refit your scales, the ones on your eyes. Um, I don't think they can do anything about the larger screen, the larger veil. It's the veil and the scales. You know, the veil is what's uh, disintegrating here, allowing us to see the bullshit. And the scales are your own personal um, area the way you interact with the with the bail is predicated on uh, your scales, how tight they are, how much you can see. Uh, someone whose scales are firmly on their eyes, they're not going to see as much. Even with this, the disintegrating bail, they won't see as much, but they'll still see something. It's a twofold problem because it's powered by the same thing. So the larger scale, uh, the larger veil, <laughs> veil bro, scale bro, the larger veil is failing and tied to it are the scales, your personal scale. So that's failing too. So it's all failing. It's failing. It's a really interesting time to, uh, to be alive, you know. Take a stop here for a minute. Let, uh get myself a spot where I can get through. See, it, it seems like there's not a lot of people out here, but as far as navigation, that doesn't matter at all. If you get the wrong two people out here with you, you're still going to be trapped. You know, it, it's just, uh, it depends how much they want to economize the space that you're supposed to be uh, sharing. I'm a fucking sharer. I always... I always get out of the way for, um, for tourists, you know, I let them, let them go first, let them uh, move through the opening first. A lot of times they will stop though, uh, to, and literally sometimes ask, oh, can I help you or, or what are you doing? I'm like, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm letting you go, you know. That doesn't make anything clear for them. You know, God help these people. God love them. That's what my mom used to say. God love them. You know, they're, uh, they're out here. <laughs> I was going to say they're trying, but they're, they're, not, they're not fucking trying. They're out here, and you have to contend with them. Contention is the the job, contention is the, what have you, what the French call a certain, I don't know what. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.